Bracketa Yahweh, Bracketa Yahweh Shai, Bracketa Yahweh, Bracketa Yahweh Shai, Bracketa Yahweh, Bracketa Yahweh Shai, Call Halala, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm just going to go right into a scripture. And this is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thou self, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. And this is talking about the Israelites. All right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole, Seminole Indians. All right, the 12 tribes, which are the Lord's chosen people. Okay. And, um, you know, I was watching this video here with Dr. Claude Anderson. My brother sent to me, told me to check it out. And uh, he, he always state, you know, uh, what's going on e economically, you know, as far as what Esau done, you know, when we when they created, when they made us to be slaves. You know, ultimately, the Heavenly Father made us to be slaves unto these Edomites. All right, so I'm going to play the video. Matter of fact, before I play that video, I want to get another scripture, Jeremiah chapter 16 and 14. All right, it says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Because we understand through history that the Israelites, you know, the 12 families, the the, 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 the Yasha Allah, okay, the Israelites were delivered out of ancient Egypt, okay, by the way of the splitting of the sea with Moses, you know, forerunning and, um, you know, being that man of the Most High and delivering the children of Israel, okay. So let's read again. Therefore, behold, the days of the day shall come. Say of the Lord that the that is that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Now why? Verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north, and from all the lands whether he have driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Okay, what is the land of the north? That is the norm, the northern hemisphere. This is North America. Okay, this was a prophecy which is yet to be fulfilled. I'm gonna read one more time. But the Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel. Didn't say the children of Moab. Didn't say the children of Ham. Didn't say the children of Edom. It said the children of Israel from the land of the north. And from all the lands, whether he had driven them, because the Israelites are scattered through the four corners of the earth. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. What is that? Israel. Because right now, we're not in our land. We're still slaves. And we're going to be slaves until Yahweh Shai come and redeem the elect of the Israelites. Okay? Verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes... You know, that's I'm gonna leave it right there. So let's play the video. Because they began to say, you quit hunting in the woods and running wild and, and get yourself some land and get yourself some slaves. So so Indians became slave hunters, slave traders, and uh, and, and 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 in the final analysis, the, all civilized tribes, the Choctaw, Chickasaw, Cherokee, and Seminole Indians, they all fought with the South to maintain slavery. And so therefore, and, and they got benefits from it. And that led to going back to the earlier question you asked me about, about reparations. And, and even after the Civil War ended, the Choctaw and Chickasaw were still holding about 12 or 15,000 slaves even after the Civil War ended. The United States government sent in troops saying, you got to get rid of this slavery and, and let, set black folk free. And they set up what's called the 1866 Indian Treaties with these five civilized tribes, which says that black people in this country must not only turn them loose, they must get benefits. They must get forms of reparations. Going back to your earlier question, you must, you must first of all, set them free. Two, you must give them an, an option. And this is for all black freedmen 
and all blacks who lived in the Indian Territory and all black Indians. You must set them free, allow them to have membership in the tribe. You must give them, uh, make them, uh, elect, let them have access to all the resources on the reservation. You must let them also be tax exempt. You must let them have free education. You must also let them be able to uh, uh, give them $150. Uh, in cash, you must give them 160 acres of land. And in present day times, those black Indians under the 1866 treaty should be getting, they could also hold gambling casinos. Now, this country has, has never carried out the full mandates, but yet we are still honoring it for Indians. Right now, all the benefits that Indians are getting in this country are getting it from the 1866 Indian Treaty because they took up arms against the United States in, 18, in the Civil War. They killed off, wiped out all previous treaties. Now, every year you, in, in the White House, we get about 567 white Indian chiefs, which in history they call $5 Indians because 90% of the people call themselves Indians nowadays are not, are not really Indians. Those are whites passing as Indians because they paid $5 to the Dawes Commission to get their name on the Dawes Roll so they can get all these advantages. But every year they get invited to the... You hear that? You see what all these Edomites do? White House. And every year they got gotten approximately three, three and a half billion dollars every year, even that Obama's been in office. They got money into the Federal Indian Bureau. Now, see, if you were to talk about reparations, black folks should have been getting all this money all these years, too. But they got shut out because the Indians in 1938, they sent, to, they sent a letter to the, to the Department of Bureau of Indian Affairs saying, how do we shut black folk down to make sure they never get any reparations? And that, that, that letter floated around in, in, the, in the federal government from about 1938 to about 1941. Then it went to the secretary for the Department of Interior. And the Department of Interior looked and says, aha, said, how do I come up with a scheme to shut down blacks so they get no reparations in this country? He said, what you do, you Indians come up with a new concept called a quantum blood law, which says that black folk are not entitled to any of the benefits of the 1866 treaty yeah. in terms of reparations yeah. unless they can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that they got one quarter Indian blood in them. Yeah. And we make Indian blood sacred like, like Jesus Christ's blood. And therefore, they've been shutting blacks out all these years. That's why they didn't get any reparations. To go back to your earlier point. And the last point on reparations, you asked me earlier about a blueprint. This country's always given reparations to all groups except black folk. Even though black folk were the ones who built the country. They built the bridges. They picked the cotton. They built the highways. They built the government buildings. They were the backbone of this nation. But now, so in, in, the, in the Marshall Plan, we gave billions of dollars to, uh, to, to, the, to, the, to Germans after World War II. We got under, under what's called a point uh, four program. We, we gave reparations to, to Japan, Japan, Japanese. We gave reparations to American Indians. We gave reparations to everybody but black folk. Yet black folk are locked into the bottom of a vertical order and a descending order of wealth, owning, and poverty, I mean, and, and control of resources, and nobody wants to address the issue. All right, I'm going to end with that. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.